The suspense is looming in the room here at Boardwalk and Baseball Super Bowl of Sports Trivia because at the halfway point for our final entry into the quarterfinal round, Washington State and Rutgers are tied at 115. And so we changed the rules this time. We have four categories, baseball, football, basketball, and sports page, a general sports category. Normally, the team that's behind gets to choose their category first, at which point we will ask you a question. You get it right, you get 10 points. If not, it slides over to the other school. They get a chance to answer your question and then a question from their category. But since we don't have a trailing team, I must say this is our 24th game, and this is the first time that we've had to resort to the coin flip, which Washington State won, and so therefore, uh, Mark, you get your choice of those four categories. We'll take baseball. All right, and so Rutgers... Learn to flip the coin better, but still you got three categories, Thomas. What would you like? I will take basketball, Chris. Okay, you guys have basketball. We're tied at 115. Everybody dig in. You have five seconds to confer, and then I go to the captain to answer. We'll start with you, Thomas, and Rutgers. Basketball, here you go. Madison Square Garden was the site of the first televised college basketball game. Name one of the two teams who played in that game. NYU. I'm sorry. NYU was not one of the first teams. Washington State, you have a shot at it. St. John's. St. John's was not right either. I had a feeling this was too tough. Pittsburgh and Fordham was the first televised basketball game, and so we moved to baseball for Washington State. In preseason baseball, games played in this state are referred to as Cactus League games. Name the state. Arizona. Arizona is correct for 10 points. You grab the lead. Rutgers chance to tie it again with basketball. Name the NBA player who was suspended for one 1987 playoff game for striking Piston Center, Bill Lambeer. Rutgers, Thomas, we need an answer. Robert Parrish. Robert Parrish, that's correct. Uh, he missed game six of that uh, NBA uh, Eastern Conference Finals. That's correct. Baseball for Washington State. Ironically, with what team did Juan Marichal end his playing career in 1975? Not correct. Rutgers, if you have an answer. Thomas? The Dodgers. The Dodgers. It was very ironic. All those years as a Giant, he pitched against the Dodgers, and he pitched uh, about a month worth for the Dodgers, and to us Giant fans, it just did not look good at all. All right, basketball. Uh, we go to Rutgers for 10 points. In 1981, after a rival fan had congratulated this coach on his NCAA semifinal victory over LSU, the coach lost his temper and tried to stuff the fan into a trash can. Name this hot-tempered coach. <laughs> Bobby Knight. Bobby Knight, that model of decorum. Bob Knight, coach of Indiana. Baseball goes to Washington State. In 1979, Johnny Bench became the leading home run hitter in Cincinnati Reds history, finishing his career with 389 dingers. Name the man who was second to Bench on the Reds' all-time home run list, and they've had a few. Ted Kluzewski. Not Ted Klusewski. That uh, is a good guess, though. Rutgers, you have a shot. Frank Robinson. Yeah, Frank Robinson is correct. I would have thought it would have been Tony Perez, but it's Frank Robinson, and uh, you get the 10 points. Now on to basketball for Rutgers. Name Philadelphia 76ers star Charles Barkley's college alma mater. Auburn. That's right, for 10 points. Baseball for Washington State. Trail by 30 now. In 1958, Major League Baseball debuted on the West Coast with the game between the arch rivals from New York, the Dodgers and the Giants. Name the stadium where the first game between the transplanted teams was played. LA Coliseum. No, that's incorrect. I'm sorry. Rutgers, that's your turn. Ridley Field. No, oh, that's a good guess, but that's not quite right either because the game was played in San Francisco at the old Seals Stadium where the Giants used to play before they built Candlestick. That's the whistle at the end of round three. Rutgers leads 165 to 125, but we have the 100-second dash to victory, our lightning round, in which we'll know who our final quarter finalist is, so y'all come back now here. folks at SeaWorld's new people encounter. Well, actually, it's the new penguin encounter. Now open at SeaWorld. Hey, 
Hey kid, why did the chicken cross the road? To have a ball with Jolly Bench and the Baseball Bunch. Join the fun and get great playing tips from Major League stars. Weekday afternoons on ESPN. I'm Chris Berman back at Boardwalk in Baseball Super Bowl of Sports Trivia. Rutgers went ahead in the third round and leads Washington State 165 to 125, but... We have only just begun because it's the 100-second dash to find a victor. We call it the lightning round in which I will ask as many questions as I can in the 100 seconds. If you're the first man to hit the buzzer, I will call on you. If you're correct, you get 10 points for your team. If you lose, you lose 10 points for your team. So a 20-point swing, and then we move on to the next question. Uh, we'll resolve all wrong answers later. An audience, during this 100 seconds, we ask you to hold your applause until the very end because Washington State has some digging to do. Rutgers has some prevent defense to play. Everybody ready? And this is for a berth in our quarterfinal round as we look to get down to eight schools ready to be the National Sports Trivia Champ. Hands on buzzers. Get ready to wind up the clock. And I can hear it's winding up now. Ready? Let's start it right now. Best of luck. What former heavyweight champion's autobiography is entitled Come Out Smoking? Washington State, Duke. Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier is right. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was a 1969 first round draft pick of what? Washington State, Duke. The Milwaukee Bucks. That's correct. Which NFL home team was the first to play under a Teflon roof? Rutgers, Tom. Houston Oilers. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. In, 19, in 1987, which National League team boasted the top three pitchers in total innings pitched? Rutgers, Thomas. Los Angeles. That's correct. Name the runner who holds the Olympic record in the 200-meter sprint. Washington State, Duke. Carl Lewis. That's correct. In 1975, what was given to NFL officials to help them communicate with the audience? Washington State, Duke. Microphone. Microphone like this. In 1974, which team became the first Super Bowl two-time loser? Rutgers Thomas. Minnesota. Minnesota is right. What Yankee baseball player was known as the Iron Man? Washington State, Duke. Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig is right. We're tied. What West German swimmer, a gold medalist in 1984, is nicknamed the Alba? Washington State, Duke. Michael Gross. Michael Gross, that's right. What U.S. hurdler won Olympic gold medals in 1970? Washington State, Mark. Edwin Moses. Edwin Moses is right. In 1976, what device was installed for the first time at both ends of an NFL field? Washington State, Duke. 32nd clock. That's right, that's good. The 1960 Winter Olympic Games were held in what? Rutgers Clark Valley. Valley. That's correct. What's the last name of the only two brothers to win the Cy Young Award? Washington State, Duke. Perry. The Perrys are right. When Bobby Thompson had his shot heard around the world, who was... Washington State, Mark. Branca. I'm sorry, that's incorrect, but you've gotten enough to win. Washington State comes from behind to beat Rutgers 205 to 185. And we thought West Coast guys were mellow and couldn't hit the buzzers that quick. Do Bobby Thompson hit the shot heard around the world. Who was on deck? And, of course, that was number 24, Willie Mays. Uh, which NFL home team first played under a Teflon roof? Teflon was the key there. Uh, the Astrodome was the first uh, dome, but the Silver Dome, the Detroit Lions, with the Teflon roof. And so our congratulations to Washington. Say, guys, put on a great show. We'll be back in just a moment. Stay with us. is ESPN, the Total Sports Network. And so at Ford Walk and Baseball Super Bowl of Sports Trivia, our quarterfinal bracket is complete because by going great guns in the 100 second speed round, Washington State beat Rutgers 205 to 185. If you guys won one, you were dapperly dressed and we wish you the best of luck and thanks for being such good sports. The Cougs, you held up the Western Honor, and you're going up against Florida State in the quarterfinals. Good luck. And our quarterfinals begin next time with Indiana and Temple. I'm Chris Berman. Stay tuned.